Well, I don't even know if it has oil, but what the hell, let's just do one more sim. <laughs> oh, that's, I think that put Megatron to shame. Look at that. Forgot there's no <laughs> that that hurt my butt. I just like plopped down on it. I forgot there's no freaking cushion. All right, so you're going to see. Actually, you know what? Let let's just go ahead and try to start it. You ready? Let's go ahead and choke it. Oop! There she goes. Pull the choke back a little bit, about halfway. No throttle. No choke. Oh, she's trying, she's trying. Maybe a little more choke. I don't really want to give it throttle yet because I don't want to flood it. Oh, there she goes. What was that, guys? About. 30 seconds of starting, maybe a minute. She doesn't stay running, though. Anyways, I'm going to ruin the starter. I'm going to ruin the battery if I don't stop. Let me go ahead and fix it. So, the trick here is... Fuel, air, and spark. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is change the spark plug. Okay? Now, if it wasn't firing over at all, I would pull the spark plug out, ground it up against the engine, and make sure I had spark. In this case, we know we have spark, so I'm just going to replace the old spark plug with a new one. Let's get started. So as you can see, I replaced the spark plug. It was extremely dirty, but what I also did is I took this good old gas tank off, dumped out the fuel just in case it was old or stagnant. So I hooked up my liberal neighbor, did them a good deed, and dumped the fuel in their drinking well. So we have established the quad has spark because it did pop off. But we wanted to ensure that it's a good strong spark, so we did put in a new plug. Now we got to work on fuel and air. So since we do have fresh gas, let's see how it runs, because if it does run super choppy, we still need to ensure that it's getting proper air in, into the engine. So we have to check the air filter to make sure the air filter's good, so we know it's getting good airflow. But we also are more than likely, pretty sure, going to have to clean the carburetor. So let's just see what happens just by adding the spark plug and fresh gas. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, look at that, guys. It idled. 
wheels. Look, look, oh, 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 uh, maybe not. Look at that. Look at that, guys. It idles. Check that out. Oh, well, <laughs> for a minute. So, the fact that it doesn't run smooth, that's definitely signs that the carburetor needs a cleaning okay I, I don't i don't think i necessarily have to rebuild the uh, the carburetor but i definitely need to clean it so i'm gonna go ahead and rip off that seat again <laughs> and i'm going to get into the carburetor let's go ahead and check the air filter too oh holy hell what the guys that's part of our problem. It is... I don't think it's supposed to be loose like that either. What? So it is extremely dirty. Um, but I'm going to pull the tank back off. I'm going to get into the carburetor. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. So we have completely gone through the carburetor. We cleaned the air filter, re-oiled it. Fresh gas, new plug. Let's see what happens. It idles really well. Yes. Uh, 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 what, what? What? No. No. All right, guys. So I sat here for a moment. I said, well, just for the heck of it, what if it was flooded? And sure enough, I drained the bowl. Tighten the screw back up, turn the fuel back on, hit the crank, and it fired up. And it fired up pretty quickly, pretty easily, and it ran like a champ. So, for whatever reason, it flooded out. I hope the float valve is not going to start sticking. But if that's the case, I'll have to buy another float valve. But anyways, uh, so we're going to go ahead and rip on this. I, it did sound like it was still a little off, and that's that's... It, I may have to go through the carburetor and just do a even deeper cleaning. But either way, we're going to rip this and see what happens. Ready? Watch. I'm going to turn the fuel back on. Uh, 
Oh, come on. See, I don't know why it's flooding itself. Oop. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. Ah. Ah. Killed the battery. All right, so the carburetor was super full of fuel again. So I think what it is is the float valve. It is the the rubber on the float valve. I think it's bad. I think it's when the float goes all the way up. I believe the float valve is not closing the fuel off as it should. So got to get a new float valve. I think that's the issue because watch. Please, please don't fail me, Suzuki in front of all these fine people. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it for a second. Alright, I'm gonna turn the fuel on. Fuel is on. See, now it's running great. I mean, it could run better, but here we go. See, that's it idling on its own. Now the idle is a little high. I got to adjust that, but you get the idea. It's a work in progress, guys. Here we go. Whoa, that clutch is, that clutch is sensitive. And there's no grip on the seat. Feels good through the. Wow, hit rev limiter quick. Oh, feels good. Oh. Wow. Oh, shit, there's no brakes. God! Oh! This is a death trap! Woo! So there is back brakes, but you gotta really... You gotta really push on them. So... It's idling a little too high. Let me lower the idle. I'll do it after I turn around. There is no, oh, there is front brakes, but it's only one tire. Wow, I love that quick rev limiter. Look, <laughs> that's it, there's, <laughs> the left disc go work. That's why I felt like I had no brakes. <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this thing. I gotta lower that. Uh, I gotta lower this now before I blow up. It's gonna get too hot. Here we go. Hey, the stink house! Woo! So the carburetor is, uh, it's almost there. It's still a little. It could uh, definitely. I, I, I need to go through it one more time. But this is. You couldn't even ride it before. <laughs> she, she definitely pulls to the right because of that tire.
rev limiter in fourth. <laughs> oh, listen to her grunt too in fifth gear. Listen. Ready? She just pulls. I mean, it's no Raptor by no means. I can definitely tell the difference in performance, but for 400, this is gonna walk all over a 400 EX. That air-cooled, slow Honda 400 EX. This liquid-cooled Suzuki's gonna school oh man one more time ready <laughs> here we go <laughs> That's so weird. time but it's you couldn't ride it before it wouldn't say running so this is nice very nice listen to this quick gear ratio let's hit that let's hit that uh the rev limiter again ready This is going to beat my cousin's 400 EX. She's a little torque monster too. That's it for today. Next video of this, we'll go through the carburetor one more time. We'll tweak it just to where it'll be for quad nations perfection. But I'm happy with where we got today because you could not, absolutely could not drive it before. I mean, hell, you could barely even get it started. Now look, freaking idols. This is great. One thing I do need to do right now is I'm gonna do an oil change because it just dawned on me. Because I smell a little bit of burnt oil. My cousin has had this for five years. Yes, this is my cousin's quad and I'm repairing it for him. I'm doing this for him. He's a hard worker and I, I'm just I'm just I'm wanting to fix the quad up for him. So I'm doing this free of charge because I love him. He's my cousin. But anyways, um, he told me he has had it five years and has never changed oil. Topped it off maybe once or twice. So, you know, I don't even know if it has oil, but, well, hell, let's just do one more sin. <laughs> oh. I gotta, gotta make sure we burn the rest of the oil out of her. 
<laughs> I don't like draining oil, so I'll just burn the rest out. <laughs> Soon. For now, guys, the Squad Nation 929. I'm out!